Okay, so I saw a recipe for Kronk spinach puffs and that's, that's what I'm going to make. So we're gonna heat up some oil. I have everything already. That looks like enough. I have everything pre-cut already. So we are good to go. I got the spinach. I got my garlic and onion. Now to just heat up the oil. Is that vegetable oil? But okay, I think it is hot enough. So we're just gonna put everything in. I saw like, I think there's like a BuzzFeed video or something where they were trying not to eat challenge. So they were trying not to try the different Disney foods. And I had spinach going bad. Like it's already been a week since it's been in my fridge. And I was like, I need to use these. So I was like, oh my God, spinach puffs. I've always wanted to try so I can make own spinach puffs and so that was my inspiration my spinach was about to go bad and I always wanted to try the spinach puffs of Kronk he's one of my favorite characters totally going off memory for this recipe but it's a super simple recipe it's just a whole onion and garlic. I think I use like five cloves. More is better in my opinion. And then all the recipes said frozen spinach, but I was like, I only have fresh spinach, so we're gonna give it a go, I guess. And I think it was just like salt and pepper. So I freshly ground my pepper. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to try this. Right. You could also use shallots instead of onion. I didn't have shallots at home. I only had onion. So that's why I'm going with the onion. Some recipes call for fresh dill. Again, I don't have fresh dill. So I'm just going for what I have. Oh no, it burns a little bit. Okay, I think it's ready for the spinach now. Put a little bit at a time. It will cook down. It will become small. My camera keeps falling down, but almost there. Okay. Just about, just about done. Oh my god, look how small it became. Like, what is this? How many spinach puffs can I make with this? Like, six? Maybe? Oh, well, then again, I still have to add cheese and stuff. So, alright, I'm pretty sure this is fully cooked. Alright. But I need to add some salt.
I'm supposed to use half a cup of ricotta, which I have no idea. But you know what? I'm just gonna eyeball it like I usually do. All right, and then I'm supposed to put the warm spinach mix in to kind of melt it together. I want every I think I'm gonna need more cheese. Some recipes call for like cream cheese, but I like ricotta cheese a little bit more. So I'm going with the ricotta. I think I could do a little bit more ricotta cheese. Good. Okay. Okay. And I also need feta cheese. Half a cup. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, that, that looks like half a cup. I have no idea. <laughs> all right. Just kind of fold it all in. I love feta cheese, so I wouldn't mind doing more feta cheese at all. Okay. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Egg yolk. Oh. oh no. Okay. I mean, whatever. It's supposed to happen. All right. Let's mix you all together. Oh god. Oh god. I wonder why I'm supposed to add an egg. Goodness. I hope I put enough salt and pepper. The recipe actually said just salt, but I was like, nah, man, I need pepper too in this, bro. I don't think there's enough pepper. I'm gonna add more pepper. Oh, wait, that might be too much. Actually, I like pepper, so it's fine. The cheese would add enough salt. Okay, this looks good. Puff pastry. How do how do you? Aha. Aha. This one's like refrigerated, so I don't have to like defrost it or anything. Ha <laughs> Makes my life so much easier. Oh, I should preheat my oven. Uh, I think it's like. 400 degrees. I have no idea. I think it was something like that. Ba -do -ba -do. All right, open. Open. Yes. Hey. Oh my god, it's huge. Uh, uh. Don't worry, guys. I. I wiped down my counter, so it's fine. Also, this is like parchment paper, so it's no big deal. <gasps> Perfect. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Whee! Oh, that was a straight cut. <gasps> so proud of myself. Okay. They said squares. Okay. Right here? Good. All right. Very good. Very good. And. Three. No. 
up here, here. All right, very good. Mm, I think about here. I have, I have no idea. Oh no, I'm crooked. <laughs> it's okay. And then, right here. Oh no, oh no, no. Oh no, no. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's fine. Oh no, I, do I need another baking sheet? Nah, 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 nah. It's fine. Fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Yeah. I think I can fit them all on here. No. Okay, I'm just gonna, I guess, scoop. Oh, that's a big dollop. Never mind. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. That looks, that looks like a right amount. And oh, I don't have a brush, so how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna use my finger, is that what's gonna happen? Use my finger um, to, um, yeah, pinch. <laughs> oh, put you right there. Oh, this is This is gonna be interesting. Oh, I, mm, I might have too much filling for how many? Well, we'll see. We'll we'll see. We will see. Pinch you guys together. Of you. Oh no, pinch together. Maybe I'll boop boop. Boop boop. Okay. Yeah, that works. That works. I mean, I have another puff pastry. I had a feeling that it might be more than what I could put on my baking sheet. I should have gotten a, bit, a bigger baking sheet. Oh. Some of these are going to be very interestingly filled, but that's okay. It's, it's, it's my way. It's Kumi's way. Oh, crap. Does it look like Kronk's thing? I don't even know. I think I could fit one more here, actually, or something. I don't know. We'll see. Well, we'll see how this helps. Oh my god, I <laughs> I basically used all of it except for this little bit, which I'm just trying to like <sighs> kind of stuff it in these last pieces as much as I can. And oh my god, I think I did it. I think I think I fit them all. Oh, 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 nice. I made exactly 12 puff pastries. Oh my God, that's way too much for me. <laughs> I might have to call my mom and ask her if she wants some. Alrighty, I just have to finish egg washing these last few. I need to invest in the kind one day. I need to get those thingies, but whatever. What a waste of the egg wash though. Maybe I'll make like Japanese rolled omelet or something. It's already added water to it. Maybe I'll just do that because I don't want to waste any less. Okay. And the oven is ready. I have no idea how long I'm supposed to cook this for though, so I'm gonna um, look that up. <laughs> I should never, I should never bake. Okay, we'll see how these turn out. Right. Okay, so I read that cooling them is best because puff pastries cook best when they are really cold. So, it's been 10 minutes. All right, so I'm just gonna put them in there. 15 minutes. Okay, I need to gonna switch them because these ones are cooking and these ones are not. Switch. 
Okay, I think it's finally done. Yes, and I actually decided to move those ones in there because it's, this oven was just not working. But oh my goodness, they look really good. And I'm also surprised, like, I, I heard or I read that you're supposed to pinch the pastries pretty hard, but none of them really, like, exploded open. I mean, this one kind of did. But this one that almost did, but pretty good so far. And they are all done. I'm just gonna let it cool so that I can eat them. I'm so excited. So I used the leftover egg wash to make the Japanese rolled egg and pretty good. I like it. I'm just waiting for these pastries to go cool down and my mom says she wants some so I'll probably go drop them off to her mm. and it'll work out maybe I should work out okay let's give this a try I'm just gonna eat it off of the spatula because it's really hot and I really want to try it I like I can't wait hot Hot, hot, hot. Mm. Mm. Ooh, that's actually really good. I honestly don't know like what kind of flavor profile I'm supposed to like be expecting, but this is fucking good. Hot. Hot. Mmm. Mmm. Kronk, you're a genius. Oh my gosh. 